Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast, part two of the crazy story between Cleo and JJJ. All involving Taina as it's like head of the craziness train here. Choo choo, let's go. We recap by talking about how they met. He filled in the blanks because Cleo just said, I went there and then we got married and left out all the shit that we had no idea about. And just basically said, he's a bad guy. This is why he's a bad guy. He then comes on and tells his side of the story and is not saying that Cleo's a bad guy, right? Or a bad girl. He's saying Taina is. So he's not disparaging Cleo in any way yet, not that I've heard, except for the fact that she smelled like onions and stuff like that. But that's not that's not Cleo's fault that their crunchy mom makes them not shower and bathe and all that kind of stuff. That's not, I don't think that was, a, maybe it was a little of a, a front, but it wasn't meant to like tear her down that much. Like she was only tearing him down. And the Cleo story tearing him down was very odd because it was so oddly specific about so many certain things like, no, I met him and I did this and my mom didn't do that. My mom's amazing, all this kind of stuff, right? It's all starting to make sense now that both of these people are crazy, but in the end, they were both taking advantage of each other, I think. He saw them with a massive YouTube platform. She saw him as a big giant wallet and tried to get a piece of land out of him for $2.7 million that Jerusalem was gonna buy in Australia. Then they took off in the middle of the night. This is insanity, everybody, okay? But this is just both sides of the story that we're covering. So, let's continue. All right, let's go continue where we left off. Wow. Yeah. This is uh, Cleopatra's last messages for you. Uh-huh. Before she talks, before she talks to mom. Mm-hmm. Okay. One of my favorite places to be with you. Can't wait to see you again. You are the best freaking ever. I love how you feel inside me. I read that. I love... She said... I love how you are always so considerate, baby. You're such a... Space. Caring soul, my soulmate. You're amazing, baby. You I love you so much. There's no date or timestamp on that, by the way. Wait to see you again. I blocked that because that's uh, explicit pictures of us. Okay. And then she was like, You're the this guy has explicit pictures of Cleo. Again, that's maybe why they tried to get ahead of it. There might have been some blackmail here to say, I'm about to post these pictures of Cleo naked and everything else. That's which is revenge porn, by the way, and that's illegal. So. Maybe he has something on them and they were just trying to mitigate that. Because if he, listen here, JJJ, if you're watching this, you probably are. If you use that as blackmail towards them, you're the most disgusting piece of shit on the internet, just so you're aware. So don't ever do that. Ever, ever, ever. Just if you're thinking about it. Best feeling ever. I love how you feel inside me because of that picture. And then she was like, I love how you are always so considerate. Baby, you're such there is a date a there. caring soul, my soul. March. January 28th. Sing, baby, I love you so much. Okay. And that's you. Oh, June 28th. This is a year ago. Literally a year ago. And then I replied to her. I said, babe, I'm back there. I miss you guys so much. And then, like, she never responded anymore. That's her last message. Oh. So she responded with this. So the last message they had together, which she could be lying. Easy to fake that. Just delete the other shit, right? It looks like a screenshot anyway that he erased. So that doesn't, that proves nothing, by the way. At all. That could have been said at the moment they just got married or whatever, a week into their marriage. So I, you, you don't have to believe that. But he did give the timestamp of June, but he could have put that in with Photoshop. In your idea, like your idea is that Cleo ran and stopped speaking to you because she spoke to Tyna. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Why though? Here's the question. He's, he, she had him take her and run away from her mom. Why all of a sudden the change now? What's the change? Why reverse it? So you guys didn't get, I'm just asking, like, you didn't get in a fight, like, she didn't want. She messages. No. Yeah, but, JJ, like, showed you the messages. Again, that doesn't prove anything, because you could have just made that shit up. There could have been a message. Again, that, that's a guilty thing. I don't believe him for one iota of a second here, because it doesn't make sense that she wanted him to take her and run away in the middle of the night. And all of a sudden, now, I need to go back to my mom, because what? Because why? What happened in that space? Oh, no. She asked me to buy to buy her a half a million dollar ring. <laughs> okay. And I said no to it. And then she 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 was telling me that oh if you don't buy her a half a million dollar ring, I'm gonna sell my house so so I can buy her one. What day did you take her? So he's this is what I this is what he's saying. He's saying you buy me a half a million dollar ring, you gotta buy my mom a half million dollar ring, and if you don't buy my mom a half million dollar ring, I'll sell the house and buy her one. Wow. So. 
That's where it gets a little bit confusing because she wanted to escape from her mom, yet at the same time, she's still like, we have to make my mom's dreams come true. Is this deep where Tyena says, okay, get him to run away with you and then get the property and all that shit? I could, oh my God. This is crazy that this, again, at the end, Tyena put her daughter in this situation, everybody. Don't ever forget that. Cleo is a victim up to this point and being used by both of these people. Her mother put her in this situation. Don't ever forget that. To the doctor. Uh, June, June 18th. June 18th, what happens? They give her blood work, her HCG yeah. levels, she's pregnant. Yep, she's, four, she's uh, nine weeks pregnant by then. She, the, baby, the baby is going to come out February uh, 14th to 20th. So the, wow. So Cleo's due date is when, I'm sorry? 14th to 21st of February. To be hard for you. I'm getting ready. I got over my ex and I posted it on the internet, and all of a sudden, there's this woman saying that her daughter was made for me. Okay, so they're, they're doing some backtracking for some reason. I post I'm over my ex, and all of a sudden, Tyena reaches out to me and says, my daughter's made for you. Why were you following to begin with? What's the relationship before that? Does he follow you? Like, this, this, this needs to be clarified. And then, as so soon as we sorry. met, like, we became together and stuff, and I fell in love with her. She fell in love with me, and I felt that connection that I never, ever felt before. He's a lying piece of shit right now, everybody. Remember what happened when they first met. He's like, I got to get away from this person. And then after a two-hour conversation, they got married and then had onion sex. It doesn't make sense what he's saying right now. He's now, now he's changed his whole tune. You went from not liking this person, being weirded out by the whole situation to literally falling madly in love with somebody. First of all, the idea that you could fall in love with somebody who, who has no autonomy anyway, who needs to please her mother, and you're being taken advantage of all the way through, just doesn't make any sense. It's, it just doesn't, it doesn't compute. As a human, I could never let myself be taken advantage of that to the degree. I, mean, I don't understand it. You have to be so stupid. Like, she stinks and everything, but I fixed that problem. <laughs> and now, like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Wheezy, chill. Hmm? <laughs> what? Why is it so funny? I think there's 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 problem with them personally. I mean, like, uh, uh, like, physically, because like every time they eat, their body became like swollen. <laughs> every time they eat, their body became swollen. I wonder if they released the Cleo video because this interview happened, or did this interview happen after the Cleo story? There was a reason they released that video, and it wasn't for view counts, right? It was to get ahead of something. What were they getting ahead of? Very, very, very crazy story. The fact that it even happened, regardless of who's right and who's lying and whatever, is crazy. That we know it happened is mind-blowing. So, like, their body is like this. When they eat, they, there's no space anymore. And Omega's, Omega's body, you have no idea. When he has no shirt, you can see all his ribs. Yeah. You see, like, his, his, his feet, like, all, her, all his toes. His nails are not healthy. The nails are, like, all over the place. What? What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's like really the same, sad. Same way, the same way as uh, Nefertiti has her teeth. So, I'm going to get the kids out of there. But when... Um, I, I promised the uncle, I promised the grandma and the grandpa that the grandma and the grandpa on their side, mom's, uh, mom's side, can't wait. They said they've been doing this even before me. So he's saying, he's alluding here, he's, he's alleging that Taina's been doing this before him. But the grandma and grandpa and everybody else can't wait to get the kids away from Taina. Right, so they're trying to use this guy to get the kids away. Mark my words. Taina is going to end up in jail someday. Probably this guy too. But Taina for sure. Something is going to happen. And I just hope it's not going to hurt somebody else. Taina is going to end up in jail. Something's going to happen. Okay. They're trying to get the children out from that situation. So they're working with social services to try to get the kid. Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. We're, we're working all together. And ill Okay. He just said something there. It's crazy. He's working all together to get the kids away from Taina. Why? Who is on board? Her dad? Everybody's on board. No, June 18th when we went to the doctor. She runs at June 20... June 28th. June 28th. Okay. And that's when she runs with these friends that you introduced her to from church. Yes. That's when she starts staying at the budget hotels and everything and doesn't come home. 
Right. Oh, so he's a legend. I mean, we're missing some context because it's been edited, but it sounds like she was staying at hotels to get away from him. Right? It, it, maybe the catfishing excursion wasn't working out and she had to figure out a way to get back. I don't know, man. Oh, oh my God. Then what mom did, mom said uh, to Cleopatra to pile an EPO. EPO is emergency protective order. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. Saying, saying that one time I took Cleopatra's phone from her and that's a domestic violence. And I'm like... <laughs> What is that a domestic violence? Yeah, no. And then you got a court date? Yeah, at the August 21st, and then I won that court date. So August 20... So we got an EPO against Cleo, and she didn't talk about that. They didn't talk about this stuff. They didn't talk about the emergency pre protective order against Cleo, because... But why leave, why leave some of this stuff out? Because, because then you go back, and you can see that they're lying. So why don't you just put the truth out? Because he's going to put that truth out, you're going to have your truth, but you left things out, and he's there's a record of the EPO. First, but she didn't show up, correct? So you want a default judgment. Yeah, yeah. So it was just a civil thing, wow. yes? Right, right, right. Are you going to file a private criminal complaint at this point? Because unfortunately, that's what she is. I Who is? I don't want to do that for my wife. I I would love to talk to her. I have tried talking to this family so many times, but unfortunately, Tyna runs all their social media accounts. Who would talk to you anyway, lady? This is how you're going to do an interview. You're going to, like, screen record a recording with your phone while you're mouth breathing into it. Sorry, I'm glad that she got this conversation, but I'm, s like, do you, are you honestly blaming these people when I want to talk to you? And, and I'm sure she doesn't have access to any of it, does she? No, no, right now. Uh-huh. Okay, look, look. So, you know what, what, what the letter said? The letter said that I work in the movie industry, that she's pregnant, and that I could uh, offer her to Illuminati because we have a baby on the way, and that she's my wife. What? I could offer her to the Illuminati? What is going on now? <laughs> like, her, like, I'm like, what? The court even laughed about it. The judge was laughing on what the declaration said. And then... So they filed something against him about him being in the Illuminati because he was in the entertainment industry. Again, I, I, a lot of missing context here. I guess Shrek Dutt did watch the whole thing and probably put the things that she thought most important. So You were served a court date. The court date was August 21st, and that's when she would get the EPO. So the, the TRO ran out at that date. You're going to try to get the EP. She's trying to get the EPO that oh, day. No, 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 no. She can't get anything anymore. Yeah, no, I understand that. That's what I'm saying. After EPO, TRO. No, I know. So your TRO, your temporary restraining order. Was dropped. Was dropped. The EPO never happened. And now, now that's all withdrawn without prejudice. Yes? Okay. Same. She needs mental health care. She needs trained professionals to help deprogram what her mother's cult has put into her that's what i'm saying the recording in her brain was wrong because mom came up with this big prophecy that she told mari what to tell the children that like they're not supposed to like colors one time nefertiti uh got a gift uh from somebody and it has like color shirts and they're programmed not to like color so nefertiti's face was like oh my god they're programmed not to like color someone sent the nefertiti some shirts on the internet that had color in them got this color what am i gonna do mom you know what i'm saying like yeah i get it the that they don't have the rights to like be who they are or yeah. like what they want to like yeah do you know who leonardo is yes Leonardo talked to because uh, mom told me not never talk to Leonardo. So Tyena said, "Don't ever talk to Leonardo." That's a red flag for me. So you wanted that's a red flag for you. That's a red flag for you. Okay, buddy. All right, you idiot. To talk to Leonardo, who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah. Fix Leonardo's and Cleopatra's relationship. Not Good. Talking already. Good. I'm so glad. And Shut up, lady. This, she's not going to talk to him again. But the point is, like Cleo, uh, Leonardo told me, thank you, John, because now I see my sister again the way I saw her when we were wow. little. Wow. The happy Cleopatra. 
Yeah, so when he said that to me, and I'm like, what do you mean, bro? She's always happy with me. And she's like, she's not like that. That's why if you see our videos, Leonardo told me Cleopatra always has her headset on because that's the only way she could escape mom and like the family wow. and what they're doing to her. Because pretty much she's the house caretaker. She's the babysitter. She's the, she's pretty the much nanny. The so he's saying this Cleopatra needs to, the only way she could escape is by putting headphones on and getting away from that because Diana runs the show. And does do any of us here who, who see this story not believe that? I believe that. I've, I've seen maybe three of their videos and I know that Tiana runs the show. 100%. And that she wants to escape that. Leonardo said to him, I'm so glad that she's happy again. Right? Because Tiana runs the show. She because t Cleopatra is Cinderella. She's the one that has to take care of everybody. She's the sweeping. She's doing all the cooking. She's taking care of the kids. What's Tiana doing? Right? She needed to escape this because she was, for all intents and purposes, the staff, the help. And she didn't want to be. And her idea was get out and find a husband, get married, get out. But Cleopatra, unfortunately, which sucks for her, is that, yes, she is a, an attractive young girl who could likely score a husband if she really, really wanted to, but can't because of the personality and everything that her mom has locked her into this prophecy style, right? So Cleopatra is never going to be able to meet a normal person because a normal person would not be a part of that. So Cleopatra is locked into this prison of social exile. Because of her mom training these kids up to be that way. So if Leonardo got out of there, thank God, I hope he's living his best life away from that. But up to this point, how does she get back unless this whole thing has been a ruse from the beginning? For mom. Cleo goes with Homeland Security, yeah? Or we assume she's in custody of them? So she's probably in custody, but I told my lawyer if they can find a way to just send her back to Australia and not her get a re uh, five years in prison. Yeah. I, so in the end of the day, we're still married. And like, think about it. So she, what? So she was in custody because she might've been going to prison for what? Shrek, whoever, why didn't you leave that part in? God never makes a mistake, right? If, if we're not meant to be together, she wouldn't be able to cross the border. If we weren't even be together, God... We were meant to be together. God wouldn't have legally let me traffic her into the country. <laughs> totally. I, I get I get that. Don't bless us with a baby. How many people out there trying to get pregnant? My sister had been married for four years, been trying to have a baby. They couldn't. Like, I feel like whatever is going on right now is just going to make our relationship and our marriage stronger and pretty much going to make her mature enough to, like, she's not ready for this relationship. Maybe she needs to go back to, to, to mom to have that closure. No, no, she no, she no. So during this interview, Cleo's not back in Australia. She's not been deported or whatever the case may be yet. She's still there in custody. Oh, mm -mm. Listen, listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Let him speak. No, I'm not. Listen to me. Adam Sandler, uh, Mark Wahlberg, all these big names was there. And the people that I want there the most is my wife and my poor child. What? He just dropped Adam Sandler? <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, that's why uh, when, uh, when I was in Brisbane City Hall. This is why you can't believe this guy right now. I don't believe him. Because apparently Shrek Dad has another video of him already. He's got another woman pregnant and he's moved on to the next one already. Do they even have a divorce? Are they even div legally divorced? Can't believe anything he's saying right now. He's trying to put himself into a good position. And they, I, I told I told him about the whole children, and the only thing that they worry the most is Aphrodite and the fertility, because if it happens to Cleopatra as a daughter, mom is going to do it to those other girls too. Yeah, So I know. I what? Do what? They don't say that. It's trafficking. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way, and I was like, you're right. And now we're just trying to work all the details with, like, you know, with, like, the, the, the U.S. Uh, government and then uh, Australian government to get so, the warrant of arrest. Warrant of arrest for mom, China, and also a warrant of arrest for dad. I also, now we need to start talking about the idea of why did Tyen and the family move to Australia? What happened in Finland? Does anybody know? Does anybody have any information about what happened in Finland and why they moved to a literal different continent? Anybody? Anybody? Now that we know that the mom is capable of doing what she's doing, and we know she's capable of at least the idea of Passing her kid off to someone they don't know. At least, even at that, 
That's all we need to know. Okay, even if none of the tr- not, even if JJ is not telling the truth about anything else, nor Cleo telling the story the the truth about anything else. All we need to know is that this one thing did happen that we know is corroborated, and that alone in itself is the craziest, worst thing you could do as a parent. I told them I don't want that to be in trouble because the guy is blind in one eye. Like he's going through a lot already as it is, and he's also a puppet for mom. You know I know. Saying? Yeah, that's what I was. Well, I was just telling them that dad actually is a good person and stuff, but like. I, know, I understand because mom is so good manipulating him. I understand that, and and, and then Uncle Kiosti and Uncle Cole also said that mom's problem was that way even she was growing up with high school friends and everything. Yeah, she's been like that. Thank you so much for everything. Please. Pray. Okay, I'm not gonna talk. Here's the thing about this: this story would be way bigger. Okay, way, way, way bigger if actual content creators got a hold of the story. But the issue is, is that the con- the quality of the shit is so crazy that it's hard to even... D- I didn't want to dive into this because of the way it was. I'm glad I did, to be honest with you. I'm glad I did get a little bit more into this. Um, but if this was done properly, if this guy actually went on a content creator's channel, told his story in a proper format, if Cleo went on a channel or whatever the case or came out with the truth and they all did this with the proper formats, the story would be told properly. But it can't be because people like this lady, whoever it is, doing this format it's so weird nobody wants to touch it because it seems so fake because even the quality is terrible it makes me angry that this could have been handled in a totally different way and done properly but never was because it's just it sounds like these people were about the tea of it all and people would accuse me of the same thing but it's not really guys my you know again most of my platform is about the exploitation of children online and youtube channels taina does that in spades and now we know she does that in real life to try to get people to give them money. She would literally sell her children for money. Guys, you can't miss that. It's one of the most egregious things anybody could ever do. You should be in jail for that. Why did she move from Finland? Why are they in Australia? Why are they only renting now? Are they really that broke? Because if you look at the review counts, take a look here. So it sounds like Taina is like struggling to make ends meet whatever they moved from a nice place. They've got 210 million views on their channel, okay? They likely don't drink a lot. They don't have many vices, but they have no money anymore. But why? Mom of 10, vlogging my lifestyle, plant-based, overprocessed, homeschooler for 20 years. They have 210 million views. Their most recent video has 10,000 views, which was uploaded two hours ago. They average around between 80 and 120,000 views. Honey's baby girl, mom of 10. Um, and anytime the little baby's in, they get a big boost of views. They make good money. I'm telling you guys. They make decent money. If we go to their, uh, let's go to their thing. So she's got a B grade. She's got a B grade rating on YouTube. 988,000 subscribers. Shit, man. So the last 30 days, full month statistics, they've pulled in 1.6 million views. So they're pulling in roughly between 15 and 20,000 American US dollars a month just on YouTube alone. And I don't know if she gets ad reads or not. They deleted a whole shit ton of videos right here for some reason. So that might be a bit bigger because they deleted. Oh, that was their big video. They they deleted. Okay. Um, There's some unanswered questions here about why do they not have any money when they're making good money? And why are they trying to trick rich people into giving them land and and marrying their daughter off to some weirdos? What's going on here? This story just got a little bit crazy. I'm going to break down the, the the dinner story as well. Like he did an interview where she, he sat down with them, the same lady, I think, and had dinner and she had a camera there. Like, was, I don't understand. It didn't seem, it seems like he knows the camera's there, but she's trying to hide it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But from what we now know of the, of the, the you have your jar and it was filled up with big giant rocks from Cleo telling her story, right? And then JJ comes along and pours the sand in to fill the spaces in. Now, it's our job to sift through it all to find out what you think. But again, at its minimum, we now know that this happened, that Taina reached out to JJJ and said, my daughter is made for you. She believes in prophecies and everything else, so it's not far-fetched to believe that. Okay? She believes in prophecies. Again, it's, I don't think she believes in the prophecies, so she uses that religious thing to control everybody around her. She brings her daughter there. They get into the U.S. illegally, first of all, because... Maybe part of that whole thing, she's Homeland Security. He's like, how the F did you even get in here? You're not supposed to be in here during the pandemic, right? Marries this guy after him not really wanting to marry her. They do it. And then he's uh, all of a sudden now he's madly in love with her and they're escaping for their lives. It's just none. So much. Again, JJJ, 
You are more than welcome to come on the show and tell me the damn real story from your perspective. I will interview you properly. You want to get your story out there, my platform is here for you. But you're going to have to answer some effing really hard questions about this. Who's lying about what? And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to, you're going to have to answer some hard questions because there's going to be some shit you're not just going to be able to gloss over. Because both of these people are weird and wrong. And at the end, I think it's between Tiana and JJJ, literally, honestly, trying to catfish each other. That's what I, that's the conclusion I've come to. And in the end, Cleo is absolutely the person here that was the victim. Even though she is an adult, she was still victimized. This is insanity, everybody. Don't miss this story. Other bigger creators hopefully can get onto this eventually because this, this she does not deserve to be on YouTube taking advantage of her children. Tyena is a control freak who is willing to traffic her daughter to someone they don't even know in a different country and stay there for three months with her other kids. It Shit's not adding up. It's really weird. So... Until we get this guy on the show or her on the show, you guys better clear up your story because in the end, both of you should end up in jail as far as I'm concerned. Tyana and JJJ, both of you need to be in jail. At minimum, YouTube needs to shut down that channel because if she's doing this to her children, she will use the platform to sell her other children. Guys, it's not going to be so far-fetched she's going to do with the other ones. The family is scared uh, inside of their, their thing. Maybe that's why they moved to Australia. Because the family in Finland was ready to be like, make some moves. But I'm all ears. If anybody knows the information why they moved from Finland to Australia, we can take that apart. But this is insanity. YouTube should not be allowing people to do this, use their platform to create, to create personas like this, which in the end will just do things like this. This is crazy. Holy shit. All right, we'll dive into the other one for sure. I will. I'm interested. I'm sold in now. Everybody take a deep breath. Oh my goodness. Make sure you head over to Licardio Toivola Snark on Reddit. There's 3.7 thousand members and there's a lot of information in there. If you really want to get plugged in to find out what's going on, it's a great place to find information, okay? Um, that's where I went for, I have a mega thread going there. People are feeding me information about stuff that I have questions about. A lot of people don't have answers for a lot of this stuff too, which is a mystery. And these people are on the internet and there's such still such crazy mystery surrounding so many aspects of their life. So. I want to thank you for being here and being interested in the story and spreading this around. This is one of those stories that we got to stick with until we see a conclusion. Just like royalty family, like all these craziness with uh, royalty family is a big one. This one, Piper Raquel, all these kids are just being completely demolished. And its core sits a YouTube channel and a social media platform that they built it off that the moms and parents and dads are exploiting their kids for money at the end. That's all it is. And this is where it leads to shit and craziness like this. Wow. They need to be held accountable. Thank you for being here. Don't ever forget your value and your worth. You are incredible. Don't forget it. I'll see you tomorrow.